a long film, though. It's going to be a short comedy. And I can remember uh, John Murray years ago, when he first started uh, coming up here. This is back in 1959 or 60. And he didn't want to play the silent film. I had obtained a small copy, short version of the Phantom of the Opera, the unmasking scene. And uh, I said, John, you know, I'd pick him up at the North Shore and bring him out here. And I said, John, now, well, let's see what this sounds like. I've never seen the Phantom of the Opera before. And my <coughs> kid got it out of the Mad Magazine, ordered it from there, 8 millimeter print. So uh, put it on the screen. And, oh, John says, I'm not going to play this. No, why not? I said, you used to do that 25 years ago in the theaters in Chicago. Oh, but I don't do that anymore. Well, he didn't want it. He was adamant about it. Come on, John. I want to see what it sounds like. So is everybody else here. All these guys working hard in this organ. So you can come and play uh, Star of the forever? Well, no, I don't want to. I said, okay, John, put it that way. It's the middle of January. And one hell of a long walk back to the North Shore from here. <laughs>
down all these beautiful movie palaces. So I figured, well, when they did that, this stuff could be gotten quite cheap. So uh, I picked a few things up here in the business. The news got around to the different billing records that I was looking for this stuff. They called me up and said, Fred, come and get this stuff if you want any of it. So there's stuff from 50 different movie palaces through here, a lot of them from the Chicago area. There's, uh, uh, and it's all in that brochure that you can get for a dollar, too. <laughs> but uh, just to give you a rundown, all the ornamental flats are here. It's from the Venetian Theater and Scene. Uh, the seats here are from the Uptown Theater and the Scene, which is now closed. Uh, the organ, as you well know, is from the Michigan Theater in Detroit. The lift is from the Aurora Theater in Paramount, part of Aurora Paramount Theater. And uh, the chandeliers and all the lighting of fixtures on the walls, except those hanging lanterns, are from the Lake Theater in Kenosha, called the Gateway. That was a rap and rap house. Uh, the chandeliers are made by from two wall bracket fixtures. So I took two wall bracket fixtures and hung them that way, and then I hung them with the crystals that came out of the Piccadilly Theater in Chicago. Uh, and then that uh, seat indicator also came from the Marlboro Theater. And a lot of the Brennograph slides uh, Ben Hall gave me, they came from the Aurora, from the New York Paramount. So there, there's stuff in here from all over. The Brennograph itself came from, one of them came from the Minnesota Theater of Minneapolis, and the other one, parts of it came from the uh, Warner Theater in uh, Milwaukee. So we got stuff from everywhere. And we put this all together over a period of about uh, 40 years, and within the last year, I plastered and painted the walls, and just a few months ago, laid down this tile floor. So that's what I've done here so far, and of course, you're always working on the organ, never ends, and I've had a lot of help from a lot of friends. Most of it was all free labor, you know, like John Hill up there did a lot of work for me. And uh, he, by the way, that he's the one that sold me the Aurora Paramount lift. Now, the reason, by the way, the reason they had a special lift down there, and I don't want to talk too long, because Maggie be itching. Uh, or is that your head, your mosquito bite you're scratching? I'm my head, Fred. Yeah. Come on up and talk to this I one. You talk better the, than I do. I used to play the Paramount in Aurora. That's right. And uh, when the Fox River flooded over, there was a guy who had to, the motor was ruined on that, so he should have totally rebuilt it. So that's why you have such a good list. <laughs> that's good. And that was, by the way, that was the reason they put the screw in the back and it doesn't go down in a hole under there, otherwise it would have been not like a regular screw down the bottom of the pit. They'd have had a geyser in here like a whole thing <laughs> ball. Now, does anybody got any questions? Fred? Who's talking? Does the, the lake water still come in? The what? Water from Lake Michigan. Oh, the lake's out there, yeah, but it don't come in here. Uh, thank goodness. We're up, even though this is 20 feet deep, we're still another 20 feet above the lake level and about 15 feet above the bottom of the ravine. That's why I built this place on the ravine, so I didn't want to have a swimming pool down here. Uh, if water ever does come in here, all it does is run down the drain and out over in the creek. Although I got a sump pump down here, and then a sump pump in one of the organ chambers to pick out any moisture that might come in after.